click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the structure of chromate as well as dichromate ion and now in this topic we are going to talk about the uses of potassium dichromate. So what are those uses? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, in the previous lecture also we have discussed about the preparation of other chemicals because of the acidified K2Cr2O7 and based on that we are going to talk about the certain uses. So starting with the first one that is, it is used as a primary standard for the estimation of Fe2 plus and I minus ions. We have also discussed that is Fe2 plus that is ferrous sulfate can be converted into ferric ions and based on that color change we could estimate whether there is a presence of Fe2 plus ions or not. So based on the other reaction of that is acidified K2Cr2O7 on potassium iodide, we have also understood that is there is a color change. So based on the other reaction, we have also understood that is the action of acidified K2Cr2O7 on potassium iodide. So based on the color change also we can estimate that is volumetric analysis also we can do and we can also estimate the amount of Fe2 plus ions, we can estimate the amount of I plus ion that has been present in the solution. So talking about the other uses that is it is used in the manufacturing of chromium compounds. So talking about the other uses that is it is used as a powerful oxidizing agent and that is what we have discussed in our previous lectures also. And it is also used in the chromyl chloride test so as to estimate the presence of chloride ions in the solution. That is whenever we have discussed about the reaction of acidified K2Cr2O7 with sodium chloride we have also discussed about the color change so as to form chromyl. And the chromyl is only formed whenever chloride ion is present in the solution. So not only this all but it is also used in the preparation of certain dyes and pigments. So therefore this all are the certain uses of the K2Cr207 that is what I have discussed over here and that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.